Welcome back, this is Bella Scuba with more Let's Play Secret of Mana. I am joined as always by Jake, Shion, and Yancey. When we last left off, we were in the ruins uh, going through all the side areas, trying to get all the orbs in the place. We succeeded in doing that, so uh, I have been doing some level grinding in the meantime. We do have everybody on, well, pretty much their main equipment except for Xion. Xion does need to level up the bow because I didn't notice before that we had a bow's orb. Uh, so it is now up to level 4 as a weapon which is the bow of hope so everybody needs to get their weapon skill up to level 5. Xion is working on that as we speak. Everybody else is full on their weapon skills. I also got everybody up to level 33 uh, in terms of a hard level. And I've also been working on the magic skill. Uh, everybody is up to level 3 except for Xion's Undyne which is level 4 because we heal a damn lot. At least I do. But like I said, everything is up to level 3 in terms of magic. And then almost all of the weapon levels are where we need them to be. Let's head back inside. Uh, we have done everything that we can in the upper area of the ruins of this temple, I guess you could say. But really, it's, it's ruins. But ruins of what do they never really say? Let's just take on the remaining weepy eyes. There are double doors back here. There are also uh, single doors on either side. These rooms are empty though. So let's just head in here and we can take on ghouls and ignore the specter. Is that his name? Yeah, it's the specter. We are going to ignore him because I don't really want to bother. Wasting magic. There is no reason for that. Yancey is full on magic right now, and I intend to keep it that way. Are you... How are you not dead? There we go. Jake reaches level 34. I didn't realize we were that close to getting another level. More weepy eyes. These... And a wizard eye in the back. These guys are not too difficult should I hit them. It's really the wizard eye that I'm worried about because he will spawn others. And we don't want that to happen. Damn spawners. Oh, one thing I have noticed about the... Uh, damn it, I've been boogled. One thing I have noticed about the boomerang. The boomerang, even though it comes back, it will not uh, hit on the return. It will only inflict damage on the way out. Not on the way back at all. And now everybody is level 34. Very, very nice. Let's just move on. Take on more bats. Bats are not that difficult, though. These guys, in particular, at our level are pretty easy, these grave bats. Not too bad at all. Oh, come on! He's, like, glitching area. There we go. Let's say where I can't hit him. Let's just get out of here. And, oh, you've got to be kidding me. There's no way I'm keeping this in. Okay, that took entirely too long. Let's just move on. They didn't even give me anything. And we got more ghouls. Moonwalking ghouls. Silly ghouls. You, you, you don't moonwalk in Thriller. That's not the one. It's Billy Jean. You moonwalk in Billy Jean. Everybody always seems to think there's moonwalking in Thriller. There is not. But you know, I was alive. Let's just move on before I dwell on that for far too long. Uh, we do have a couple doors here, if I remember correctly. We also have a treasure chest. Shake the shit out of it, and hopefully we get a quilted hood out of it. I did get an another item out of the other treasure chest. One of the treasure chests. Let's take a look um, at that. We'll see if it's an upgrade. Quilted hood. We have the tiger cap, of course. Okay, apparently Jake cannot wear it. I also got, out of the treasure chest once again, uh, the chest guard, which he cannot wear either. Gian, anything. Okay, that sucks. And <laughs> that's even worse. So we're now getting items for me to sell out of the treasure chest, and I will not be happy when I get those, to be honest with you. I don't... I don't like items that are, are only meant to be sold uh, at this point of the game. Don't get me wrong, uh, there's other concepts in video games that I am a fan of. Uh, you know, trash loot, uh, for instance, Final Fantasy XII. 
I like the way that works, but when it's an actual like piece of armor or something like that, then, then I'm not a fan of it. There are two doors here. Uh, the ones that the Robin Foots were guarding and the one that the ghouls were guarding on the left. We're going to go into the one on the left. And no. <laughs> Why? Are the drops really necessary at this point? I do not feel like they are. The ghouls, however, I am happy with the ghouls and even that guy. Who I've already forgotten the name of, but he disappears on me, which is kind of annoying. Once again, anything that I cannot hit at all times pretty much annoys me slightly. His attack, though, is easy to dodge. Oh, it's just a name. I thought he had a fancier name than that, to be honest with you. But down everything goes, because I have an awesome sword and I've been leveling it up. Well, I've been leveling up everything. We do have uh, four of the eight mana seeds so far. Um, that is something that shows on the uh, on the status screen, surprisingly. Uh, but we are getting there. We are getting there. Of course, I could probably level those up all the way to level nine, should I wish. But you know that that that's something we can we can take care of as we go. Something. Makes me feel like we'll have plenty of time to uh, level grind along the way. Uh, we're in a giant room here. There are many exits, and I can get caught in between those guys. That was weird. Uh, there are really a few ways that you can handle this. I'm going to go with pretty much the fastest way. Damn it. Why are you moogled? Uh, we're going to head through here first, because there is a way to lower those spikes that you might have seen. I'm just going to ignore this room altogether. That room just doesn't exist. I don't know what you guys are talking about. There was nothing in there for me to kill. That... That's just messed up, though, that they keep on giving me enemies like that. I do realize that I probably should well at least the way that the game wants me to, to think about it is that every dungeon is going to require four fairy walnuts and that that's why I should be using magic that often you, you kidding me can I just step yes I stepped on it you hear a distant noise and we are gone damn it no we're still gone I I will have nothing to do with that fight the funks and the drops that that's not happening that's just not for me I did not say go back there nope nope we're going we are going there's nothing back there for us so let's head back to this room here this room I like these guys are at least tolerable for me they, they don't take too much of my time or anything like that but when we start getting to things that absolutely require magic that's when I'm that's when I'm out just nope do not care but like I said I think the way that the game wants me to think about it is that see look as you can see the spikes have fallen they are no longer blocking our path the, the way that the game wants me to think about it is that I have uh, pretty much five MP bars um, for, for one given character How m that did 64 damage am I gonna have to heal I am going to have to heal. What kind of crap is that? No, no, we're not level grinding anymore. Back to healing. Yeah, heal anybody. Why not? It doesn't actually matter when uh, when you're using Xion's magic, whether or not you target everybody or just one person. It does the same amount of uh, of experience for just one person or for everybody. So feel free to just use it on one person. It actually can go a little bit faster if you target somebody else, but. Yeah, that, that's just something to keep in mind. The door behind you appears! Very, very nice. Is there anywhere else for me to go? There's an, where the hell did you come from? The hell, dude? What the hell? Get, yeah. He needs to die. Damn it. Uh, but actually, I think this is the way that I want to go now. There are, t like I said, there are a couple paths out of here. I think this is the way that I would like to go. But, mm, fine. Actually, this is not the way that I wanted to go. I was a little hesitant about that, and for good reason. Uh, we are just going to ignore this fight because this would have been a repeat. Anyway, we need to head in here. I thought this was 
the way forward, but it isn't. This is the way to the treasure chest. I knew there was a very special treasure chest around here somewhere. We can we can wait to kill these guys first. No, stay back. <laughs> Damn it, you made me miss. You guys are casting it on... I hate you. Alright, they died. Let's grab this, shake the shit out of it, and get a swords orb. Very, very important. Swords orb. We, of course, are using the mana sword. It does need to power it off, but... That is what we are using. Yes, Xion, get out of the way of that thing. Yancy, stop getting hit all the damn time. Is it really that difficult for you to figure out? And we leveled up again. We're getting a ton of levels. I must say, the levels are coming fast and furious in this dungeon. Maybe because I'm underleveled? I don't think I am. Uh, let's just head down here, and now we can head the way that we were going, and I am going to ignore the red drop in here and pretend that it doesn't exist, because it doesn't, because I already killed it. And there you see everybody else catch up, everybody is also level 35, which is usually the level at which um, most RPGs would consider the like end game. to be honest with you. Most, most RPGs of this era, that is good enough. 35. Thereabouts. Not this game, though. No. Not this game. Let's move on. Take on all these guys. Damn it. What? Why did I even hit him if he was going to freaking... And there we go. Arrow up to level 5, which means that I can move her over to something that's a little bit more powerful. Like... Let's see. Yeah. Doesn't matter both ways. Something like, not the javelin, no, there it is, the halberd, which that it doesn't look like a spear anymore, that's why I didn't think it was, but it is. Somehow that giant battle axe is a spear still. 